Okay, so in this part I will be doing a little bit of the steering. Uh, steering shaft was too short, so I took it upon myself to cut it. And I have, well, I'm going to end up doing this, using this stuff to uh, lengthen it. It might not look as good as uh, tubing, but I did kind of drive around for a little while, and I wasn't able to find um, the proper tubing that I could use for this. That I could pop over here and just weld it in. Uh, so here's the idea. Yeah, that's that's the idea, though. Uh, I'm going to weld this in real quick. My battery's about to die, so I probably won't film this. Um, so next time you see it, it'll probably be all welded up. Alrighty then, it's uh, a couple days later now, and I have the lower steering ring all set. And as you can see, yeah, yeah I have um, this lengthened. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, but I went down to the hardware store a couple places, and I wasn't able to find any tubing that would match this size. So I figured I'd use uh, this box deal I already have that this slides right into. Um, quite easy to do. Cut that, slid this in there a little bit, welded it up. Looks kind of funky, but you know what? It works all right. This lower ring mount I have a welded in place. I used a piece of, I think, three quarters inch uh, box steel for that. Originally, I wanted to use. Um, not that one. A, a different ring mount, but it was too narrow on the inside, like barely too narrow, so it, would, it was scratching up the end of that a bit. So I cut that off. It's actually right there. I cut that off. Also, that little piece of metal was too wobbly. I cut that off. Put this piece on and decided to use these instead I had to buy. Uh, they're a little bit looser on the inside, so you can get a little bit more uh, play out of them. And that worked okay until my dad decided to break it off for me because he was point. yeah he was like well if one goes if one goes loose and the other one will just break off too so he wiggled it around till it broke off and I was like okay so I rewelded it um, I angled this piece down a bit more the uh, box still I cut it at an angle so now I can just fill it all, all up with weld so it's much stronger than it was before which is kind of a good thing um, I've got a buddy helping me and currently, I got this welded in this cross section right here. And he has this, which will be at our next mount, cut a little bit long on purpose, so we can attach the next sleeve onto here for our steering. Um, and we should be done uh, pretty soon. Get this thing uh, steering finished up, then I'll have to cut down the tie rods a little bit since they are a tad too long. Uh, just a threaded part. Um, I had to do that on my other one too. I don't know where it went. Someone was driving it. Yeah. And then, uh, what's after that? Yeah. Pedals, hook all the lines up, do the brake. That's going to be a big one. Yeah. But we'll see. So right now we're trying to get that piece ground down at an angle so that this will fit right into here. Um, it looks like it's almost there to the point where it can be welded on without much of a gap, but there still is a little bit of a gap there. So keep on working at it, I guess. Okay, so the top mount is now uh, welded in. You have to push it by here. And then, uh, pop it in on this side, and since these have a little bit of play, you can just slide it up and push it back down again. And I'll put a shaft collar on the end of there and drill a hole for the set screw to go in so you can't pull it back. Uh, that'll work pretty well. This is actually a little bit... Mm. That'll still work, I think. Um, but yeah, it's coming out nicely. Um, just about finished with that. I uh, was burning through a lot on this metal, like right there. I had to fill that all up um, because this uh, thinner stuff easily burns through. I don't really like touching my settings since they're in a, quite a good position for welding the thicker stuff. But um, but yeah, 
Next step is to put the tie rods in from there to there. Uh, they, need, they need to be shortened a little bit. I can put my new tires on. Okay, so the steering is just about finished. Um, <clears throat> I have this uh, shaft collar in here with a bolt in it. Now, I actually drilled a hole, a small hole, um, not very deep inside of this steering shaft. So this bolt actually goes into that hole. So you can't, it's not going to scrape up the surface and you definitely won't be able to pull the steering wheel off in this direction. Um, I had the tie rods fitted. I had to cut them down a little bit so they'd be right about the right length. But they're about the right length. So the wheels are kind of aligned. The only problem I have is that um, when you turn it too much, the tie rod hits the frame there. But that can be fixed by uh, using another nut between there and there to raise this up more so it doesn't hit so easily. Or I can just uh, like limit it. So you can only turn it like that much, uh, which isn't actually that much. Uh, the turning radius will be a little bit small since it is um, a fairly long frame. Let's see, I've grounded down some of the welds here so I can put on some of that uh, angled metal to reinforce it a little bit. With this drill, I am cutting holes so I can put the third um, bearing mount in. I drill a small hole into a bigger one, it makes it actually a little bit easier. I got through on that side with the small one. I just have to uh, go through with the bigger one again. Uh, let's see. So the next thing on my list, I think, would be to... Um, get the brake hooked up. Um, I might test it without the brake first, in which case I'd want to do the pedals first, but uh, it depends, I guess. I'm going to have to, uh, either way, I'm, I'm going to have to add that reinforcing metal to along here, like I said I would, and it is starting to rain. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>